we're samies today. Mm-hmm. We got the khakis and the and the dark mm-hmm. shirts. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's not good. I feel a pain in my tooth. Well, that's not that's good. Not good. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, my dentist is crazy too. The final front ear. These are the voyages of the starship. Oh, sorry. Oh, this is chess now. Actually, I, I got confused there for a second. I'm uh, your humble host, uh, Checker Phil, representing here. And uh, let's see, we're broadcasting live for the fifth of November. It was the fifth of November, two thousand and nine. And I'm your host, Checker Phil. I said that already. Please call or message your friends and relatives right now to let them know that they could stream our live program our program online boy oh boy who's who's writing this stuff all they have to do is simply visit mnn.org and click our channel number channel that's channel 34 right and uh visit yeah oh no sorry we're on 57 my bad mnn.org check out channel 57 oh no i was telling a friend of mine to go to a channel all right uh any case we're taking calls live in New York City Public Access Studio, 212-757-1483. I'm here with chess expert, George Grasser. Live on the air with you. George, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing, Phil? Great to see you, George. Yes, great to see you, too. I tell you, we've been having some great episodes lately. It's wacky, wild stuff. Yes. And uh, are you are you uh, happy about the Yankees winning and stuff like that? Oh, I don't follow sports. No, neither do I either. But but you know what? It sounds for a great conversation, and it might inspire some people to call in. They might think this is like on the sports lines or something. I'm kidding. But this is on the chess lines. You better represent the number 202-757-1483. You can call. You can talk about chess. You can talk about space. You can talk about George Grasser. You can talk about whatever you want to hear. Oh, my camera's camera too. Is that that one? Uh, that one here? Oh, yeah, there. Hey, hey guys, how you doing? Hey, George. Hey, you want to play a game? I'll sure. play some chess. All right. Because you were telling me that the way I could become a better chess player, because I'm getting my butt kicked all over the place, um, is to uh, play two games of chess a day. Yeah. Face that, to face. That Eyeball help. to eyeball. Yeah, that that'll help you. So I should play people that are better than me or worse than me. Always play them, the ones that are better than you. Really? Yeah. Because I I receive a great satisfaction by playing that are people that are worse than me. <laughs> of course, because then you win, but it's about learning the game. Oh, learning. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, well, let's play. I'm going to play somebody better than me. That's you. All right, would you like white, Phil? Yes, please. It might help. Um, I would like E4. Can I have right. E4? So Phil is going to play pawn to E2 to E4. Right on. going to teach you uh, the long algebraic notations. So oh, pawn great. Pawn to E2 to E4. Pawn to E2 to E4. And I will respond pawn C7 to C5. This wow. is the Sicilian defense. Oh, the Sicilian defense. Yeah, I thought you were going to like uh, stick an ice pick in my neck or something like that. So let's take a look at it over here. Here it is. So point it out again with your finger. Pawn to E2. Yeah. To E4. Right. I played pawn to C7 to C5. So this is the Sicilian defense. So, hmm, I guess a good way to, for me to respond is uh, hey, maybe I should stick my bishop right under your, uh, your pawn to make sure you don't push any further. Please push no more. All right, you want to try that? Yes, please. Bishop F1. F1. To C4. Yeah. Bishop F1 to C4. All right, that seems okay so to me. So what I'm going to do is play pawn on E7 to E6. Hmm, why so far back? 
You must be planning something. I know, you're up to shenanigainery. Yes, I always am. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's see. Um, I guess I better start breaking out one of my, uh... Breaking out one of my, uh, not my knight or something like that to start shoring up stuff there and also enable the fact that I can castle. So why don't you bring out my, uh, my knight, my G knight. Because I'm a G, if you didn't know. <laughs> knight on G1, where do you want to put it, Phil? Hey, uh, I want to put it right over there, yeah, sure. F3. You know, F3? Knight on G1 to F3. Yeah, so I'm developing. I'm trying to develop as best as I can. So I'm going to play knight on V8 to C6. Okay, hmm, that gives you that, if you could jump right in that little nook, I better get something else to back that up. Um, let's see. How about... Yeah, but you need to go right in that little nook. All right, all right, I don't trust it. I don't trust it! Um, hmm. What can I do? Gosh. I already see you, like, looking at a take my pawn and be up a piece and it's all, hmm, I don't like it. No, sir, I don't like it. Um, I guess what I better do is, I can see it coming in there with your knight next. It's, just, it's bad, it's bad. I'm paranoid. They used to call me paranoid. Phil, you haven't made any, you haven't done anything wrong yet. Oh, okay. You brought your knight out, you Not brought yet. your bishop and you're panicking already. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're just it's because I'm playing you. Just play the game, you're saying. Try, yeah, just try to think what right. you should do next. You should always have a plan, though. All right, my plan is um, I'm thinking it's too early to castle, and I want to leave my options open, right? It's never too early to castle. Really? It's never too early. Okay, but then you, you know where I'm going to castle. I'm going to castle on that side. Okay, you're going to want to castle. Yeah, zero, zero for me, thanks. Yeah. Castle is written zero dash zero. Yep. Kingside. Oh, queen's side. Kingside. Kingside, yeah. Right. Dead silence. You know people can call in 212-757-1483. You can check it out, uh, the show online, by uh, checking out channel 57. I'm going to strike in the center, playing pawn to d7, to d5. Holy crap! Attacking your bishop. Oh, no. All right, all right. Way. You're up to shenanigainery. I guess I'm forced to take that, that pawn. Okay. Phil is playing pawn on e4. Takes pawn on d5. Oh, and then you have a queen up there. Oh, no. Well, I can't take it back with the queen, but I, I will take it back with the pawn. Pawn on e6. Captures d5. Attacking your bishop again. Shoot. All right. Why don't you move my bishop one over to, to 5 uh, b b5. b5, yeah. Phil wants to play bishop to b5. Yeah. Yeah, see? He's pinning my knight. I'm pinning it! How do you like those apples? So now I envision this knight coming here, causing more pressure on the c6 knight. Too so, much pressure. Pressure's got to stop. So what I will do to try to stop that from happening stop is play my bleeding. bishop on f8 to d6. Oh, so that's going to stop me from getting up in there. All right, all right. Let's see what I can do. I, all right, uh, I guess I better... Pull out a pawn so I can start moving out some. Hmm, let's see. Oh, hey. Why don't I just pull my rook out there and check you? Okay, you wanna check me? Rook on F1 to E1 is check. Uh huh. Hey, there's a call. Hey, you're with Chess Now with you. Who's this? Upper East Side representing. How are you doing, Jose, today? Good, good, good. I just want to say what a great job you're doing. Ah, you like chess? Yeah, yeah, I love chess. And I love chess. And I want to let the other guy know you make that's the wrong move you should have done. Uh, oh, what, you know, what, what should he have done? No, he, uh, I'll, I'll put it back close up. Let me see. Oh, let him see the board here. Let him see, check out the board. Can we get a close-up shot of the board so Jose could take a look here? Can you see it, Jose? Yeah, that's pretty good. Let me see it. Yeah. Um, Jose is pondering over the board what he can do. Well, it's kind of tough now. It is. It is. Now, uh, if you you know, if you want, you can come down and play us in person, you know. What happened? You, you're invited to come down to the studio and play. 
Oh yeah, yeah. Where the studio's located? At? Yeah, um, it's it's a uh, 537 uh, uh, West uh, 59th Street, uh, and we'll be here in two weeks. Oh, December 17th we'll be down here. So if you want to come down and play us, December 17th. Uh, the, the public access station. Yeah, come on down. We'd love to. The 17th, man. Write it down. Come down. Uh, at the same time? December 17th. The same time? Yeah, same time. Normal. Same chest now time. Same chest now channel. Well, he should be here a little early. Be oh, early. be here early, though. We'd like to hang out and play chess ahead of time. <coughs> and, okay, okay. You know. He looks kind of... He he's thinking over there. We don't want to mess up he's his He's thinking. Concentration. Yeah, all right. We don't want to mess up your concentration. Okay, I think I'm going to play knight on g8 to e7 because I am in check and I want to block the check and the way I'll do it is I'll develop a knight. That I'm going to break the pin on the knight as soon as I castle kingside. I'm going to break the pin on this knight as soon as I castle kingside. So I believe that this is the correct move in so this position. A lot of kingside. Move. Yeah. Move. Make your move to max it. Alright, let's see what we're going to do here. I'm going to say, how about I... Let's see. How about I move my knight over? Ah, oh, darn it. Yeah. I should open up my... Open up bishops or move my knight to get a little closer to the action. Put it closer. I think you I should move my knight closer. Yeah, why don't you move my knight over to uh, what is that? Uh, F F uh, F five. E five. E five. Knight on F three to E five. No, 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 no. I want to go the oh. other way. I to G five. Yeah. That five, that five, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. That that that's working for me. You like that? Yeah, yeah. It's a little bit country. It's a little bit rock and roll. No, no what's going on here? What am I planning? What shenanigans are you yeah, what tell are you, him up to? I'm up to is stuff. He, he's up to something. I'm tricky. I'm tr tr tricky. It's tricky to rock around with. We tricky him now. Yeah, yeah. Tricky him now. Yeah. So now, uh, do you play? Do you? Where do you play, Jose? Weapon. Where do you play chess? You know, I play with a lot of the seniors in the community centers. You know. Ah, you play at the community centers. How old are you, sir? Good, good, good. I do. That, you know, I learned from the seniors. You know, oh, we have a lot of. How old are you? Me, I'm only 26. 26, so you're playing with the seniors. Are, are they good? Do, do you yeah, beat them, they, or do they, they beat they you? Good. They taught me. They taught you? They taught me. So you highly recommend they go in there and playing some people in chess, and then, ah, ah, look, he's castling. Uh, uh, I chose the castle king sign. Uh-huh, okay, let's zero see. Dash zero dash if you're writing it down. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what Shanina Gainery can I pull her. All right. I'm thinking... Let me pull up a pawn over there so I can start uh, getting some uh, stuff going on here. Uh, oh! Oh! I got it! I got it! I got it! I got a good one! Yeah! Um, how about you move my queen all the way over to F... H? H5. H5, my bad. Queen on D1 to H5. So threatens checkmate. Yes, 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 yes! So that leaves me with probably not too much choice as well. I could play pawn to H6 to stop that. Uh-huh. Or I could bring my bishop out to f5, stopping the checkmate. Yeah, I can do that. Do that. Hmm. Yeah, I think I think, think this is the better. That? I think I'm gonna stick with this one. I think this is the better choice, and it, because it attacks this pawn here at c2. Yeah, it, it, so bishop c8 to f5. Hmm. All right, all right. Let's see. How about? Oh, I got it. How about I bring out uh, one of my other knights? I'm going to bring up my uh, B side knight and take that over to uh, B3. No, C3. Okay. Knight C3 on B1 P. to C3. Yeah. It's attacking my pawn. Yeah, dude. D5, which is still protected by the knight, so I'm not too worried about oh, that. Dude, yeah, and you can just totally take that. Yeah, I left it myself totally open. Bad move. Well, that's not, not necessarily a bad move. Sorry, we're sitting here pondering upon what to do next. Hey, Jose, you got any recommendations for what I should do next after he makes his next move? I'm just going to play pawn to h6 and kick the knight out of there. Yeah, yeah I think he does it. That was a good move. Okay. Yeah, um, you know what? I'm agreeing with him. That is a good, darn good move. Good move. Yeah, you're recommending? I'm, yeah, but yeah, but he's going to he's gonna take my knight next, dude. Um, oh, yeah, but then I can just take... Oh, uh, you know what? You, mm. sh you should move the knight away. I should move the knight away, right? Mm-hmm. Um, where do you recommend? Oh, where? I'm asking you? No, sorry, my bad. 
I guess I can... <sighs> what if I don't want to move it away? I'll just lose uh, it. I don't yeah, want to I'm just going to take it. What are you going to do about that? Yeah, you're right. And then I'll take it back with the queen. You lose a... I lose a major Three piece. points for one point. Yeah, that's not good. All right, so let's see. Where can I move back to? All right, H3 yeah. or F3? Mm, I'm going to go to... F3. Uh, you think F3? Uh... Yeah, F3, because if not, you go the other way, you're going to take it with the... With the bishop. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Right on G5 to H3. He's, Phil is trying to keep his knight centralized. Yes, I'd like to keep it in a central location. Why? It sounds like we're receiving uh, missions from uh, space. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try queen on d8 to d7, threatening bishop to g4. Oh, crap. That's not very good at all. All right, let's see. What can I do? Oh, this is not good. This is no bueno. This is no bueno. All right, take that pawn over there. Knight takes pawn. I have knight takes knight. Oh, if you take pawn, you take knight, and then I can't do nothing about it. That's not good. I got it. Um, how about... Let's open the bishop up. D-pawn. Move my D-pawn up. What if I move my D-pawn up to... No, you got it too well defended. You got it well defended. Yeah, I have a weakness in my four. I'm thinking if I if I move my D pawn up, yeah. Take care, man. I'll see you the seventeenth. It's the seventeenth. Okay. All right. Thanks, Jose. I'll see you then. Peace. Write that down. All right. That was Jose in there calling in. All right. So let's see. I'm thinking of either moving my D pawn one space or two spaces. But if I move it up two spaces, you're gonna take me, and then take it back with the the knight. Oh no, you're not gonna take it with the knight. I see. Yeah, move it up two spaces. I'm ready. Okay, pa I'm ready. Phil has played pawn on d2 to d4. Yeah. Two and two, seven five seven, fourteen eighty three. For those of you that want to call into chess now, represent you. Yeah. We're here with uh, George Grasser. The Chuck D of chess, I would say, and Phil, the flavor of flavor of chess. Bishop on f5 to g4, attacking Phil's queen. Don't attack my queen like that. Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks. Yo, that sucks. Where the hell can I go? In a little bit of trouble, huh, Phil? I am, I am. All right, all right. I, I have to move one down, right? Yes. All right. Queen to h4 seems like the only... Square that you have left. And then you're going to jump down a little closer. Are you going to start more trouble down there? Well, Phil, I think it's time that I call an ambulance for you because after knight g6, your queen is trapped. Shoot. No, I can't. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done, Dunny. Yes. It's like it's, toast, huh? Yeah. You, what did you always say? Uh, the fried liver defense. Yeah, the f well, that's that's the name of the attack fried liver. Shoot. What can I do? I got it. I got it, got it, got it. No, I don't got it. Darn it, I thought I had it, but I don't have it. God, is there any way to stop the bleeding? No. No, the bleeding sucks. Crispy critter. Shoot. Do I just give up, dude, or we just take it to the end? Well, uh, if you want to drag it out, but you're going to lose an entire queen for just I, a minor piece. I don't want to drag it out. I, I think I'm done. Over. Okay, I, re I give. I give. I capitulate. I, I, uh, is that a real word, capitulate? Yeah, capitu I cap capitulate. I, I capitulate. Is that, am I using that correctly? Yeah. In any case, I'm done, dude. I'm done. I give. I give. All right. So All right. Let, let's go back and review the game. Okay, let's, dude, what did I do wrong? Let's set the pieces back up. This is the section we'd like to call, Where Did Phil F Up? The Sicilian, I got done like I was really messing with the real Sicilians. Yes. 
guess that's why they call it the Sicilian defense. I think I can show you where you went wrong. Where did I go awry? We're in the cosmos. I think we're changing the, the, our name of our show to Cosmos. Is that taken? Chess Cosmos. Is Chess Cosmos taken? I don't think it's taken. Hmm. Okay, Phil, so you played your first move, pawn to e4. Yeah. Very good move. Pawn to c5, yeah. the Sicilian. Now you went here, bishop to c4. I don't recommend that. Why not? Well, your idea is to attack the uh, f7 pawn, yeah. right? So I just block it off, and now I have this lever that's going to come in at any time at my choosing. Mm. So now you chose to bring... The knight out to f3. And I brought my knight out to c6. And then you castled. Now, is that still a good move? Um, I think maybe in this position you might have played pawn to d4 to strike back in the center. Mm. That, I really. And then I would have the knight to back it up? Yes, you'd have the knight to back it up. So if he wants to come down, let it come down. So you castle. So I screwed up my castle. Well, it's, I screwed up it's my probably not the, the bishop. Out. And then when I played the pawn here, yeah, I'm attacking both. So I suppose trading is okay, which is what you did. Mm -hmm. Back. Then I retreated. I oh, know. Then I attacked your. Yeah. Your then you knight. then you played bishop here. Which I would have just got booted. I could have just got booted out of. You right. could have played here. Maybe even rook to e1 check directly is a better move because that prevents my bishop from coming to d6. See, I'd have to stop short here, and I never would have gotten to develop the bishop to a more effective I see. diagonal. So I would have played rook to e1 check in this position. But so I, I checked, I checked uh, yeah. the king far too late. Well, that, that's why I played the bishop here, to try to take advantage of that inaccuracy. And you did? Yes, I did. Then you played here check, and then I developed my knight to e7. And you wouldn't have cared because you had a... And then you played... You had like one, two, you got three pieces on it. Yes. Four pieces on it. Yeah. Now you played knight to g5, which, which I think is a poor move because... Question mark? Question mark, yeah. Right. I, I still believe that you should just simply play pawn to d4. And you probably still have yeah, because I had the queen to back it up. About an equal game. Yeah, because I would have had a queen and a knight backing up mm -hmm. against any attack. So when you went here, I felt it was safe to castle, despite the fact that I saw that your queen could come here. Because mm -hmm. then you knew to, you'd be able to kick it out. Yeah, I, I'll kick it out eventually. I could do it now, or, or like I did. So I put the bishop here, threatening the pawn on c2. Now you played your knight to c3. And then I played the pawn to h6. And then you moved back to here. And then I played the queen to here, threatening bishop to g4. Sure. And I, I guess you didn't, you didn't see that happening. I did, but I well, already effed. I thought I had mentioned it before you had to played the move that I was threatening bishop to g4. Mm, well, yeah. So I, d I don't know. I've got to look I've got to look harder. You got to see for look harder, see further. Any other advice for me? Well, just like I said just keep play every day. Keep on playing. Keep on playing. Right on. I will represent. So let's see how we're we doing on time. Right on, for people that want to call it. Well, how about we get another quick game in real fast? Sure, why not? Sure, and if anybody wants to call in, 757-1483. Would you like me to be white this time? Sure. Maybe I'll defend a little better. Okay. I knew a guy that was a pretty wicked player, man, but he only played black. All the time he only played black. But then I realized how to defeat him. I started saying, dude, it's your turn to play white. And he's like, what? <laughs> yeah, dude. And then I started kicking his butt. His weakness was exposed. Okay. I'm going to play pawn on e2 to e4. All right. Um, I guess I'll reflect that and, and uh, 
do that. What, what is this defense called? This is the King's Pawn opening. Oh, well, that means I have to follow it perfectly. If not, I'll lose. So now I'm going to play Knight on G1 to F3, attacking Phil's Pawn at E5. Hmm. I guess I should either defend it. I guess that would be the good thing. And I will defend it with... With my knight? knight? Yes, I'll defend it with my knight. Knight to c6? Yes. Okay, I'm going to play the center game. Attack your e5 pawn immediately with a pawn thrust it from d2 to d4. Guacamole, but you got a queen behind it too? That does not bode well. What can I do to defend this? Okay. I can put out my bishop. And then when you take that one, I'll take that one. You never want to place the bishop to d6 to defend the e5 pawn because you block in yeah, the other bishop. Yeah, you're right, you're right. All right, all right. How about the pawn? A pawn would be good. Still blocking the bishop. That how about how about just trade? Oh, just take it? Sure. All right, but you got a queen on there and you got a bishop on there. Okay. I mean, a queen on there I and a knight I can take back with the knight? Yeah. Or I can gambit a pawn. I can play pawn to c3. Uh. This is called the goring gambit. G-O-R-I-N-G. Like a, like a bull goring somebody? No, I spell differently. Um, let's see. Okay, what happens when I take it? Okay, when you take it, I ignore it yet again. Bring out my bishop on f1 to c4, striking f7. I don't get it. Striking f7, and then you start busting out with the... Let's see, if you're going to do that, and then you're fixing to... Oh, you're fixing to do some sort of attack, like moving your knight to to uh, to d4, and then bring your, your queen out to kick my butt at f7. Well, the the whole the key to your the key to white winning the game is probably going to be on f7 in this opening. Hmm. To defend that. Um. Oh, well, not to get paranoid, but I guess I better defend it somehow with a minute left. Well, this this causes a lot of questions, and uh, you know. I hope we'll talk about this. Uh, you'll, will you post up All what right. to do? Just let, let me let me show the folks w how it looks at home. Okay. Pawn takes pawn. Pawn takes pawn. Bishop takes pawn. Yeah. And White is two pawns down, but his yeah. compensation is these raking bishops into the black king raking. position. Raking. Raking bishops. Ouch. So you can look that up. It's called the Goring Gambit. G O R I N G. So definitely, game. thanks for watching Chess Now, folks, and uh, make sure to check it out on YouTube. And also, you could, I guess, you can download this on thepiratebay.com, and uh, just just do a general search for Chess Now. And also, uh, hey, I guess we can plug. It's your turn. You, I'll play you. You can play yeah. me. I'm Checker Phil. He's George Grasser. Represent y'all. Take care. Peace. Good playing you, George. Yes, good playing you too. As always.